Yeah. It's the weekend again. Um, gonna get the rest of this bits of front off, so I've got to grind all the rest of the crap off. Finding more and more fucking sticker flips. This guy really, really fancied that shit. Fixes everything apparently. I mean, look at that. Let's see if you can see this crap. I just dug a huge, great big lump out. The same on both sides. So, that's what was in there, this rubbery crap. And he's done it everywhere, so wherever there was a bit of a hole, fill it up with that shit, fixes it. Apparently, all this side's the same, so all that round there, I'm gonna dig all that out, get rid of that, cut the rest of this off. Get ready for the new front end, all this has got to go, all that, all round here, so again all full of sicker flicks, so I don't know what we'll find behind there, but looks like the wings are pretty solid, just the uh, front panel was shagged, so we'll see what we can do, innit? So I just thought I'd show you this, just um, I've got this little air grinder down here, like for cutting discs. So I bought that oh, months ago now. Brilliant bit of kit, but the rip-off bastards so these little tiny discs, and they're like a dollar, dollar fifty or two dollars each. And there's stuff all them, only about like it's seventy mil. They say about seventy mil diameter. Um, they don't. They last five seconds. So what I do is my old cutting disc for my angle grinder. I made a, an adapter up, so just some washers, just ground the washer down a little bit. So then these, these then fit on there. I'll show you, I've got an old deck. I have to stick this in the stand and show you. Two seconds, well that's better, you should be able to see now. So what I've done, yeah I've got a couple of washers on here. So there's just two washers, penny washer, just drilled it out to fit on there, and a smaller one, and I've ground that down to make it the right thickness and that goes on there like that and then you get your um that way get your old disc which is no good for your angle grinder anymore it's too bleeding small but you thwack them on there like that centers it another big penny washer on there then I've just recycled Nip that up and we are good to go. So now that's perfectly centered and recycled, so I can now I can get the disc for these for absolutely stuff all. So don't throw your old grinding wheels away, your thin ones anyway, your cutting discs, especially if you've got one of these little fullers. Right, that's one side all cleaned up. So All the crap off of there now. All the old panels removed from that side. Now, just that shit. Happy days. Right, finished grinding and banging and making a bleed mess. So now, right, just chuck the bonnet on it. Kept not too bad. The front's got to come in just a little bit. So, sort of tapers towards the back. So that means the front's spread a little tiny bit, so I shall pull it back together before I weld it up and um, yeah, make sure it's straight. Probably just put a ratchet strap around it, just give it a couple of ticks and that'll pull it in. But other than that, it's no bad. I'll try and get the other bit in now. So I guess what I'll do now is punch this part so I can spot weld that in and then do the same with the, the front panel down there. Once it's in, it's in then, and I can just weld it up. Should be good to go. Smart. Well, just test fitting all that. So just all wedged into place. The bonnet gets pretty good for a for a fold, to be fair. So about the same both sides. So I should imagine now I can um, start welding that together. Be another job done. Sweet. Then I could chuck it back on the spit and carry on with all the other bits that I've sort of gone away from because it's nice to do a big bit when you can see 
you've actually done something like that, so that'll be cool when that's all gone. So I shall get the welder out now, uh, take the bonnet off, and um, start to spot weld it in. Bleeding marvellous, ain't it? And it's bleeding hot and all. Marvellous. Right, so the inner panel's all welded in, and the front panel now is just clamped in. Looks pretty good. Probably have to just uh, do a little bit of something in here, pull them in a little bit better. But yeah, it fits pretty well, so job's a good one. Um, I'll probably just tack that on, but I've run out of gas for my MIG, so. I'm buggered so until I can do that I can't put the bonnet back in and just test it to fit but yeah pretty good so um, looks a shit, shit sight better than it did anyway bleeding marvellous <laughs> 